Divrei Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 10. And Rechav Am went to Shechem, for to Shechem were all Yashadael come to make him king. And it came to pass, when Yaravam, the son of Nivat, who was in Mitzrayim, whither he had fled from the presence of Shalomah the king, heard it, that Yaravam returned out of Mitzrayim. And they sent and called him. So Yaravam and all Yashar'el came and spoke to Rechavam, saying, Your father made eth our yoke grievous. Now therefore ease you somewhat the grievous servitude of your father and his heavy yoke that he put upon us, and we will serve you. And he said unto them, Come again unto me after three days. And the people departed. And King Rechavam took counsel with Eth, the old men that had stood before Shalomah, his father, while he yet lived, saying, What counsel give ye me to return answer to this people? And they spoke unto him, saying, If you be kind to this people, and please them, and speak good words to them, they will be your servants forever. But he forsook eth the counsel which the old men gave him, and took eth counsel with the young men that were brought up with him that stood before him. And he said unto them, what advice give ye that we may return answer eth to this people, which have spoken to me, saying, Ease somewhat the yoke that your father did put upon us? And the young men that were brought up with him spoke unto him, saying, Thus shall you answer the people that spoke unto you, saying, Your father made eth our yoke heavy, but make it somewhat lighter for us. Thus shall you say unto them, My little finger shall be thicker than my father's loins. For whereas my father put a heavy yoke upon you, I will put more to your yoke. My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scorpions. So Yaravam and all the people came to Rechavam on the third day, as the king bade saying, Come again to me on the third day. And the king answered them roughly, and King Rechavam forsook eth the counsel of the old men, and answered them after the advice of the young men, saying, My father made eth your yoke heavy, but I will add thereto. My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scorpions. So the king hearkened not unto the people, for the cause was of Elohim, that Yahuwah might perform at his word, which he spoke by the hand of Achiyahu, the Shilonei, to Yarovam, the son of Nivat. And when all Yashadael saw that the king would not hearken unto them, the people answered at the king, saying, what portion have we in David? And we have none inheritance in the son of Yishai. Every man to your tents, O Yashar'el. And now, David, see to your own house. So all Yashar'el went to their tents. But as for the children of Yashar'el that dwelt in the cities of Yahudah, Rechavam reigned over them. Then the king Rather, then King Rechavam sent Eth Hadaram, that was over the tribute, and the children of Yashar'el stoned him with stones, that he died. But King Rechavam made speed to get him up to his chariot to flee to Yerushalayim. And Yashar'el rebelled against the house of David unto this day.